Hey, how you doing, Richard? Hey, Scott, great to see you. Good to see you too, man. Yeah, thanks here. so much for inviting me out. Yeah, welcome to the Spreckles Beach House. You know, I have ridden by here probably dozens of times, but I don't know too much about the home. Can you tell well, me a little yeah, bit about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the most iconic property on Coronado Island for sure. Maybe one of the most iconic properties in San Diego. Yeah. It was built by John Spreckles back in 1909, and he used his architect Harrison Albright, who was known for his work with uh, concrete and steel so it's so wow. it's all reinforced and on top of that it's got one of the best views in all Southern California and we'll go upstairs and take a look at it from the view can't wait let's all do right. it hey Scott thanks so much for showing me through the home I this is my first time in the home I never realized just how beautiful it is inside and out so much history involved here thanks for having me over you're welcome you're welcome they did an incredible job remodeling this place they it sure did really really a labor of love for the people who did it. And it's now gonna be a labor, a beautiful place for somebody to enjoy. Uh, it shows. So, so you've been our mayor here for a couple years. That's pretty exciting. That's right. And a couple years to go for sure on your first term. That's right. So what it's like being the grand poobah of Coronado? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, as any elected official will tell you, it is a tremendous honor to represent the community you live in. And I think uh, Coronado is really a special place. So even my my friends that are mayors across the bridge, they, uh, they all, are a little envious that I get jealous. to represent Coronado. Yeah. Um, as you know, that we have such a strong community and part of what makes our community so special is, of course, our ties to the Navy. Every single Navy SEAL begins their training right here in Coronado. Yeah. And uh, it's just a, it's a beautiful place to call home. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, we we really love love being here and part of the community as well. And it's great to you've done a great job as as our mayor. We really really appreciate your your effort and all the efforts the city council has been doing too. Absolutely, I'm, I'm a big believer in that the the role of the city government is really to focus on making sure we have sound infrastructure, the public safe, and we're maintaining our parks and beaches. And I have to say, I think our city staff's doing a great job. It, it does click all the boxes. And listen, for my business, selling real estate, I don't have anything the issues to have to deal with. <laughs> well, you know, I'm we glad got to great hear that. schools, we got great everything here, so uh, it's pretty, pretty special. I'm it looks like something pretty special is going on today. It sure is, actually. So today is September 21st, 2018, 92118, which also happens to be our city's zip code. Yeah. So today is a once every hundred years celebration of everything that's great with Coronado. Yeah, well, it didn't look like it's happening without a lot of effort and energy put behind it. How did it all come to pass? Yeah, well, we had a lot of great people from our community step up to volunteer to put on to today's event. You want to go down and check it out? Yeah, that's what I was going to suggest. Let's go take a look and see what's going on. Let's do it. All right. So Richard, who all helped bring all this together for the Coronado? Oh man, we had so many people from the community step up that had the vision for a, a day that could celebrate everything that is great about Coronado. It is. So Steve Johnson, Elisa Kerr, Rob Crenshaw, those are the three main community members that really got behind this idea and brought it into life. It's unbelievable, it's unbelievable how much is going on here. How many, how many of these booths are up and down the oh, Ocean Boulevard? It's incredible. I believe we have over 100 vendors, primarily all local Coronado <laughs> merchants, uh, wow. different restaurants. We have a lot of our pet shops here. Um, and we also going to have four different local bands playing from now all the way until midnight. So it's yeah. a great time. And it looks like they're doing something over on the beach. What's going on over there? They are, yeah. So we have a bunch of events on the beach. We have bocce ball, we have cornhole. Uh, we're also doing a 5K a little bit, and then we got a, a sandcastle contest. And there we have some, uh, some of our biggest fans over here. Yeah. Right here in the heart of 92118 day. We are. So this is really the center of Coronado's celebration today. We have Beer Garden over here. Oh yeah. And then, uh, that's the VIP tent over there. That's the VIP tent, Scott. Yeah. That's, that's the place you want to be. Uh, <laughs> we here's really, the we'll be there later. One, so yeah. I think you'll enjoy that. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, we've just we just finished walking by all of the uh, Coronado vendors That's selling some special. just amazing There's food. all kinds of stuff going on there. Oh man, there's something for everyone uh, here today. What I love about today 
is that you're seeing a lot of young people, a lot of old people, people that are new to Coronado and people that have been here for generations. So yeah. this really is a special day for our city's history. You know, it kind of is one of those special events. Special events. It reminds me of the feel you have at Spreckles Park on Sundays. Absolutely. Everybody shows up for the costume park. Everyone's coming stuff. together. Uh, everyone's all having a good time. Together. It's really neat. So it's well, I'm glad you could join us today. It was really great to be able to share this with everybody about how special Coronado is and what a special opportunity is to have things like this happen in a little community like this. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much for giving me the tour of the Spreckles Beach House. Yeah. And uh, I'll never forget that. Good. Good. Well, it's good to see you, man. Thanks, Thanks for your help, man. Hey, my pleasure. <laughs>
in Tijuana or Rosarito or Ensenada. And what's also great is the fact that we meet our guests at home, we pick them up at their office, we offer this door-to-door -door transportation and, and experience that allows them to just relax and really enjoy the finer things and not have to worry about all the headache of international travel. Mark, what made you decide, like, I want to do this? I was like, well, we love to surf. My wife came down too and she was like, I'd rather just wine taste versus surf. So her and Katie hung out and had a great time. But it's just one of those things that, you know, we live so close yet we don't go down there because it can be the challenging aspect is getting down and, you know, what do we do? So they picked us up, beautiful vans, just air conditioning the whole way and had a wonderful trip. And it was just something that was an experience that I told friends about and they're like, hey, let's go do it. So it's just an amazing amazing time. And you've also won quite a few awards from your trips as well. Yeah, our company, we started it two and a half years ago. It was a, a, a creative outlet for us. We had a very different past in the, the finance investment world. Um, and in just the last two and a half years, we've amassed over 355 star reviews and, and recently an international award uh, publication recognized Boca Roja as the best wine tour company in California, which I thought was pretty special because there's some pretty some prolific wine regions in California, Napa, Paso, you name it. And for us to be recognized for our service, for the quality of product, um, and also the fact that we actually don't do anything in California, so in Baja, California, I thought was a pretty cool nod to, to what we're trying to do. Now, do you have plans to expand, or are you kind of going to stick with Baja and keep, keep that as your crown jewel? Um, that's a great question. You know, we, we keep thinking about these different experiences and different markets and all these questions about scaling. And at the end of the day, we have turned back into the core business, which is offering these incredible, exceptional, unforgettable trips into Valle de Guadalupe because I think it's just a big opportunity. There's 160 wineries in Valle de Guadalupe. There's a restaurant um, with a young chef who just got re recognized as the best restaurant in all of Mexico. Wow. You used to have to go to Mexico City to have that type of quality and experience. Now it's an hour drive from, from downtown San Diego. So for us, it's focus on this amazing opportunity, this amazing region, this amazing culture, and we'll see where it takes us. Absolutely. Speaking of amazing culture, San Diego is your specialty in real estate, Mark, and you have a really awesome property that just came on the market. Yeah, so we're in downtown San Diego, which is great because I live and work, I live in Pacific Beach, so it's 15 minutes south to come down here and enjoy stuff like this. I mean, as we look out, we have a high rise here, we have the ballpark right over there, so it's incredible, but we do have a very cool listing that's very close to Sail Bay, two bedroom, two bath, about 1,200 square feet listed at 685. Pool, jacuzzi, ground floor unit so you can walk out. Um, amazing opportunity. But yeah, there's so many cool places and stuff. So we have quite a few friends that live down here, whether it be a second home or a primary. There's just easy access to and from downtown to the airport to the beaches. So it's, and now obviously and to, to Mexico. Uh, yeah, to Mexico. <laughs> so I say we plan a trip. 100%. I'm down. And uh, grandma and grandpa told me they would come out so we could maybe even plan an overnighter. That would be excellent because when we were down there, Tim was pointing out and Katie were pointing out all these different hotels that you can stay at. And that would just be awesome because you could surf a little bit in the morning, wine taste, relax, and then come back to your hotel, maybe get up and surf again. Oh, 100%. And it's the ultimate staycation. I mean, think about only driving 90 miles, but you feel like you're in an entirely different place, 10,000 miles away from home. It's the best weekend ever. Sign me up. Let's do it. Awesome. Can we leave today? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> we can. <laughs>